what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm, I'm doing some cool stuff with uh, my 96 impala super sport um for those of you who don't know texas has provided special provisions for classic vehicles or vehicles that are 25 years or older uh, this is a special registration just for those vehicles they have what's called an antique registration uh they actually have a classic and they have an antique registration so there's two different types of classes so antique registration just for those of you who don't know the antique registration is basically any car that's 25 years or older and uh this is a car that is not daily driven this is basically uh a collector's item something that you may drive to car shows and parades and things of that nature but you rarely rarely drive the car uh that is an antique that would be considered as classified as an antique so what you can do is you can register that car they have special registration in texas for those types of vehicles to where you can uh, register the vehicle and it's really really cheap it's actually a five-year registration so the registration is good for five years and uh it only costs basically ten dollars per year so the total cost of the registration is fifty dollars and with this antique registration what it does is uh, first of all they give you really cool antique like antique license plates they say like antique vehicle or antique truck or whatever you want to call it and then they have um a couple things one you don't have to have a front license plate so they only give you one license plate you don't have to have a, a actual registration sticker in your window the actual registration stickers are actually placed on the license plate like they did back in the old school days right before they did the the two two windshield stickers uh, and then again, like I said, the beauty of it is you don't have to get the car inspected or registered for five years So it literally is good for five years. Also, if those of you who don't know if your car is 25 years or older It no longer is required to pass a state emissions test So the state inspection test that we're all accustomed to and familiar with is a two-part test that involves emission And it also involves safety, but once your car is over a certain year age uh, 25 years or older it no longer is required to pass the emissions test so all that your car is required to pass is the safety test which in the safety inspection test involves just checking the brakes make sure the headlights tail lights work brake lights work horn uh, all like the basic fundamental safety items on a vehicle so uh, and it's like seven bucks which for those of you who probably know a full inspection a regular inspection that includes the emissions test is like something like I think 40 bucks now 50 bucks so uh, this is only seven bucks guys so saves you a lot of money uh, so just remember that if you've got an older car 25 years or older you can take advantage of that as well okay now just to compare the difference between the antique registration and the classic registration uh, classic is is any vehicle 25 years or older but you drive it more so like a daily driver right uh, I know not many people are driving around a 25 plus year old car every day, but there are some people that do drive cars that old on a daily basis, right? Or at least they drive it, you know, more often, right? So uh, that's what a classic uh, vehicle would be sort of considered in the state of Texas as far as registration now. But the classic vehicle registration, it is, uh, it has some limitations, right? Uh, well, not necessarily limitations. It's just that with the classic registration, you have to you still have to follow and uh, adhere to some of the same policies or laws that a regular car would meaning like you have to have a front plate uh, i think you have to have uh, the sticker in the window if i'm not mistaken and um, you also have to take the car uh, annually to have it inspected each year uh, whereas like i said with the antique you don't have to have it re-inspected each year you only get it inspected one time it's good for five years and uh and then actually the prices are the same uh the prices are basically ten dollars a year 50 bucks for the entire uh five-year block of time so uh it's really neat you know it really helps out the classic car owners uh save a few bucks so we don't have to spend as much on the registration so i'm headed over to first pick up the impala from my storage i have to go get it inspected then once i get it inspected i need to go to our county tax office which is where they do all the uh, registrations uh, there's a form I need to fill out, uh, and I'll, I'll post a picture of the form uh, somewhere in the corner over here on this side so you can see it. But it, there's a special form you have to fill out. Real simple. It's like a one-pager. Uh, you fill out that form, take that with you, and then uh, with your insurance and your uh, proof of inspection, and then uh, they will take care of it for you at the, at the tax office. So uh, I expect to probably be waiting in line because 
it's it's always like that at the tax office bring you a chair um, I recommend that you bring a chair because the lines typically are long and with it being like the first uh, around the first of the month lots of people are in there trying to get their car registered uh, people that have procrastinated and missed the deadline and whatnot so uh, the line is typically long and you typically will sit and wait for at least an hour before you can get to the window to take care of your business so um, bring bring you a chair and maybe bring you some water or something to drink while you're sitting there waiting make sure your phone's charged um, and uh, you know just sit, do something to pass the time cool thing about it is when you get there they do give you a number so it's not like you're just standing waiting in line you're basically waiting for your number to be called but still while you're waiting it, it can be nerve-wracking sometimes so bring you a good book uh, like I said keep your cell phone charged but um, I'll bring you guys along, kind of show you the process so you guys can do the same for your car. If you're in Texas and you have a car that's 25 years or older that you don't really drive on a regular basis, I'll do me a favor. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Tap that notification bell next to the, to the subscribe button. Also, like this video, comment below, and let me know what you think about the video, okay? Now we're headed over to uh, Caro Audio Intent so they can do the inspection. Um, once we get the inspection, then of course the next step would be to go to the uh, DMV or the tax office to get the antique registration. Okay guys, I'm here at Caro Audio Intent getting the inspection done on the Impala. These guys are really quick. They get us in and out quick every single time I come here. So um, cars already back in the back getting the inspection uh, so it shouldn't take me long all right guys we got our inspection that was quick and easy painless uh, so now uh, the next step is for us to um, head over to the uh, the DMV or the the tax office so we can get the uh, uh, the antique registration so first I got to print out this form so I can fill out the form once I get the form printed out then I can uh, I can get that done, and then we can go over to uh, the uh, the tax office. One hour later. All right, guys. So we are at the courthouse, tax assessor, tax office, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, uh, so it turns out that um, they have a new process now where you can't. I guess you can't go inside and stand in line like they normally make you do. So now they got a they got a station at the front door when you walk in with one of their employees and that person basically um, she has you fill out whatever form you need to fill out and then drop off a check and you know make make a notation of what you need done whether it's registration or whatever the case may be and then they have you come pick it up like the next business day so in this case um, the next business day is Tuesday so it looks like I won't be able to I won't be able to leave here with my new plates and uh the completed registration so i've got these forms i gotta fill out so i'll fill out these forms and then uh, they give you an envelope you drop it drop the envelope in this little drop box and then um like i say you can either pick it up on the next business day or you can make a note for them to mail it to you anyways i'll get these forms filled out and uh and then i'll drop this stuff off so here, here are the forms What's that? this is uh what you say, Trip? What's up? What's up? What's up? Little guy back there. So this is a form application for antique license plate. Got that. And then, um, then here's the here's the form that they make you fill out to where you drop you drop your payment. See, it says you include your include insurance and inspection inside the envelope before dropping off. And then. Um, and then it has like kind of like where you, you list your name and address, uh, the total amount you're dropping off, and then they ask you these questions. So, and then you tear off this bottom part here as like receipt of you dropping off whatever it is that you're dropping off. So, three days later. All right, guys, great news! Great news. So, we just came back from the, uh, the tax office. So, I stopped by to, uh, pick up my packet and actually what happened was I got an email from them uh, I think on Friday and essentially saying that uh, the payment I made which was $50 it was it, it was short 
Uh, so I think it ended up being $16.25 more that I needed to include. So they basically asked me an email to, uh, to drop by, drop, bring the $16.25, and then I guess they would process it. So that's what I did today. So I went up there, super, super convenient, no long line, no long waiting. Uh, told them who I was. They gave me my packet. I walked up to the uh, window uh, and spoke right with uh, a clerk who was able to process my uh, antique plate registration. Um, so what they gave me was temp they gave me temporary plates or, or temp a temporary paper plate that I'll keep in my car until the actual uh, antique plate arrives. She said it takes about one to two weeks for the antique plate to arrive. So as I pointed out before, the antique registration plates, they have a little spot where you put the sticker on the on the plate and it shows here that my registration is good through 826. So that's August of 2026. So five year plate, five year registration. I don't have to get it renewed or inspected for the next five years. So and it's only cost me uh, what was it? Sixty-six dollars and twenty-five cents. So this is the uh, the paper plate that they give you when uh, when you complete your antique registration. Um, you guys have probably all seen a, a paper plate and what they look like—the ones that are that are actually generated and printed from the uh, actual DMV. But um, but you can see here that it says '96 Chevy, and it's got you know the expiration date here, November 6, twenty twenty-one. So I've got quite a bit of time. Uh, with this plate, you know, to, to wait on my um, my um, actual plate to come in in the mail, which should take a couple weeks. But remember, like I said, with the antique plate, you, do, you don't have to have a front license plate. So all that you'll be getting is one individual plate that'll come in the mail. So, uh, and it'll, of course, it'll have antique vehicle or it'll have antique truck if it's a truck. Uh, but guys, I definitely recommend you're doing this if you are in Texas and you have a vehicle that's 25 years or older and it's a vehicle that you don't necessarily daily drive, um, you know, more of a toy or just, you know, something to have fun with, I would definitely recommend doing it. It is so worth the investment. And, and really, it's not even really an investment because you would be paying money regardless of if you had to register the vehicle, renew the registration or not. You'd be paying at least... I think it's for a passenger car for a regular registration. I think it's up to like sixty or seventy dollars for a passenger vehicle. That's that's the normal registration. This registration is only fifty bucks, and um, and all you need is a uh, an inspection. Once you get it inspected, which in this case your car is twenty five years or older, you only have a safety inspection, which is only seven dollars. So your total investment will be basically fifty dollars for the registration. And that's a five year registration and seven dollars for the safety inspection i mean you can't beat that that's 57 dollars. that's less than what it costs to register and get your car inspected um on the regular registration so can't beat that with a stick guys two weeks later great news guys my uh antique plates came in the mail today so um I'm gonna get these things put on the car. I'm super excited about these plates coming in. Uh, now the car is officially an antique vehicle and it's registered uh, for the next five years. Don't have to worry about getting it re-registered or inspected for the next five years, guys. So when, you're, when your plates come in, um, you'll get an envelope that looks like this here. It's from the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. Um, and uh it's you know it's the shape of a license plate so <clears throat> and then what you'll do is you'll take your registration sticker that you got when you went to uh registered at the at the uh, tax office or your dmv you'll take this sticker here and you'll place this on your plate there's a little there's a little uh provision a little section on the plate where you pl put that sticker on it and that basically says that you know your your uh, registration is good through August 26th, so so five years, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna open this up and uh, show you guys what's inside, so you so you know what to expect when you get yours. Uh, I'll open this really quickly, show you guys. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, this is almost kind of like a Christmas gift, it's early Christmas. Um, I've done this three times so far. 
with the other three vehicles, the C10, the Monte Carlo, and the uh, the 71442. They're all registered as, as antiques. And, and um, so I, this is finally a complete set. All four vehicles will be registered as antiques. So it was really cool, really excited. So it looks, looks like they, they double envelope. So the first envelope is your, your envelope with your mailing address information. Then there's a second envelope inside that uh, that actually, I guess, contains the license plate. And I think they put a piece of cardboard in here also to just kind of support the license plate, kind of brace it so that it's not easy to bend it when it's being mailed. Envelope number two. Okay, so there you have it. Antique Auto. And like I said, um, this little this little plate here, this is where he would actually take this sticker and put it on there. Um, so we'll get we'll get this mounted. Alright guys, and like that, we are official. Antique auto. So last thing we gotta do is get rid of this old registration sticker in the window. Look at that, came right out. Came right out, no residue, boom. And like that, we're official. No window sticker required and no front plate. And that is the beauty of the antique registration. So if, uh, if you have any questions about how to get your antique registration uh, please drop a comment below uh, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Super simple, su super easy. I'm also going to drop a link in the uh, description with uh, the form that you need in order to register your vehicle as an antique. So, uh, But thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, uh, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, also, if you do subscribe, be sure to click that notification bell and also like the video, comment below, and tell a friend about our channel, okay? See you soon. Take care.